There's a crisis, y'all. Yes, it's been declared by many dental organizations, even the organization um, for dental education has declared that there's a, a crisis in oral health. But why is there a crisis? Why is there a crisis? What is the crisis about and why? Uh, because again, like you mentioned in the very beginning, you know, we're trying to address the crisis. So it's almost like a call to action. We need all hands on deck for this one to make sure that we can get our stories out there. And key word, all hands on deck. All hands on deck, meaning um, the more that know about the survey, the more that can participate, the better. Uh, because we need mass dissemination and we also need mass participation um, so that we can lead with the science, right? Like you've mentioned, we talked about before, leading with the science and having the information because the numbers don't lie, right? There's going to be an interpretation of the numbers, but we need the numbers. The numbers need us. Uh, the profession needs us. Uh, to participate because this segment of the population of oral health professionals um, is not belonging right now. It's not necessarily completely integrated or being included, right? Uh, not having uh, their diverse backgrounds and experiences being shared, right? Um, and they may feel that there's not a an equal or equitable playing ground as well. But we don't know because we haven't asked these questions of those individuals. And that's why the survey is so important. Um, once the well, survey is done, I, and I know you mentioned that, you know, this is the first step. But it's an, an important step. H how do you see the survey being tied to other goals or other uh, things that are on the um research teams list of things that they must and, and want to achieve but well, the biggest thing is um drawing more awareness you know so giving us a baseline measure uh, something to describe the experience with you know uh, this actually came to me i forgot to mention as a third year dental student um you know who's at uic college of dentistry her name's Danae ashford um, and Danae, you know, when you think about the generation of dentists that are entering the profession, you know, they, they have questions and, you know, us being in a position to try to help them get their questions out about what does this mean for me entering into this profession uh, as it pertains to diversity, uh, that's been very important. So, you know, part of this is also listening to the voices of those students who are going to be future dentists. You know, and when you think about that in terms of how do we use this data for the future, you know, I think it's imperative that people pay attention, people in institutions of higher learning, pay attention to the narrative and not settle for whatever narrative gets created within the four walls of any dental school. Because I can I can tell you, you walk in any dental school in the admissions meetings, uh, people come in with their unconscious bias, they come in with their opinions, they come in with the student who graduated five years ago who had an experience versus saying, no, 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 what's, do we have more information? Collectively, are there some things that we need to be looking at that we need to pay attention to as it pertains to how we recruit Black men into the profession? How do we mentor Black men entering into the profession? But then also once they're there, Right? What kind of resources do black men need in order to build that resiliency that is necessary to graduate and be successful? So all of that to me starts with understanding a little bit more because when you look at the numbers, Dr. Hayes, you know, we can say that the numbers are low. You know, when when people call on me to be the voice for every black male applicant that comes through the door. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I, I need something more. I need to say, no, 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 no. And not just me, but you have hundreds of black men who said this is a thing, right? And so now, you know, when you try to challenge me or when you try to lean in on my own personal experience, uh, we understand that that's limiting, you know? So how do we get past that limitation? And also the people who work in institutions where there is not a person of color, a person, a black male of color, who can even share that personal anecdote. What are they going off of? 
you know? So some people have no voice whatsoever helping them guide the conversation and, and the intervention um, in order to address this crisis. Yeah. So that's what I would hope. One, awareness. Two, um, giving us data points for intervention. You know, and I look at the interventions in those buckets that I mentioned. You know, uh, recruitment, mentorship, and resilience building. Um, in addition to academic support. You know. Yeah. So there's a lot more that we could have asked on this survey. Um, you know, so we're hoping to get that kind of feedback as well. You know, I see this as a first iteration uh, of something larger because, you know, within a survey, you know, you only want to take brothers' attention span for five minute intervals, you know, but moving forward, you know, are there some questions that we missed? Are there some questions that we could ask differently? Yep. Um, is there a convening where we perhaps need to meet with brothers to get some qualitative data, you know, and get, and get some richer information about these collective experiences, not the one, the one-off, you know, experiences that I may have had and that you may have had, but collectively, what did we both go through that was similar, that was influential in helping us get to the point where we got into the most school? Yeah, and I think that's key, man. That that's key to have that as a target and the reasons that you mentioned. Um, and now we got to go to work. We got to go to work. I, I I know of at least 150. Uh, dentists, black male dentists that will be filling out the survey and will be disseminating out this survey. But that's a small popu small percentage of the smaller population of individuals that we need to reach, right? So that we can hear this story and hear this information and use that moving forward. So go to the link right now. Go to the link right now. Go to that link right now. All right. And participate. Thanks for your for your uh, for your time, Doc. And we're going to help. We're going to help. Go to the link. Go to the link right now. Go, 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 go.